No, it's it's not possible. You can't be dead. Janet, I wish I could take it back. But you can't, can you? I gotta get out of here. Janet, wait, wait, please. I can't be around you right now. Okay, do me a favor and file that, thanks. Janet. Tell me it's not true. Tell me he's okay. No, Jack, I want to see him. Where is he? You really got to try and take it easy right now, okay? I want to see him, Jack. Where is he? The morgue. Will you take me to him? Please. Come on. I'm just... I'm tired of feeling like a monster in my own home. Because Janet's there. I feel for her. I really do. Yeah, but you're at the end of your rope. Yes, I'm trying really hard to be sympathetic. But Jack and I have no privacy. Whenever I turn around, there she is. So I, I, um, I blew up. I said what I had to say. I, I said everything I was feeling. I bet that was colorful. Mm. So who'd you blow up on? Was it Jack? And Janet. Oh, yeah. How'd they take that? Jack was not impressed. And not even close to being on the same yeah. page. Why am I not surprised? God forbid the guy should ever back you up. Maybe I, maybe I did go a little overboard. With what? Attacking a pregnant woman whose father just had a heart attack and whose daughter has cancer? Thank you, Greg. I can always count on you to make me feel worse than I already do. Well... Maybe you did go overboard, but Jack still bears a little bit of blame for what happened. How do you figure that? Look what he did. He put you between a rock and his ex-wife. I mean, you had no place to go but ballistic. I certainly didn't disappoint. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't have gone off on Janet given her situation. But you shouldn't have had to go off at all. And I hate the situation. I hate her situation. I hate my situation. I hate that she's living in my house. I hate that she's carrying Jack's baby. I hate that she needs him. And you know what I hate even more than that? What's left? <laughs> I hate <laughs> what it's turning me into. What? An angry shrew. And the worst part is, I can't even be an angry, drunken shrew. Don't hold back. I'm ready. Whatever the news is, I can take it, good or bad. Luckily, it's good. The cancer seems to be retreating. Are you serious? I'm gonna be okay? We'll ease off the chemo and just do maintenance radiation. I knew it. I told you. This is great oh, news. God, I better yeah, tell my mom. I wish that he was dead. At least I thought I did. But what I really wanted was to hear him call me his daughter again. And to tell me that he wasn't ashamed of me. You got that wish. But now he's gone. There's so much left unsaid. He died knowing that... You had forgiven him. I hope so. He knew. Jack, can you give us a minute? Yeah, uh, I'll be upstairs. I don't know what to say. I want to know how you could let a sick man leave the hospital. He said he was fine. I was wrong. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you were wrong. And now he's gone. I will never have him back. He will never know Liberty or this baby. You took him away from me. Because of you, my father is dead. any of this right, Dusty. My father is dead, and there is nothing you can say that's going to justify to me what happened. He loved you. He wanted to make amends. He already did that. He didn't have to go chasing after some guy to prove it. And maybe you think that you couldn't have stopped him. But maybe I could have if he would just come to me first to tell me what was going on. I'm sorry. I had a chance to get to know my father all over again. And he would have made an amazing grandfather to this new baby and to Liberty. And now he'll never get the chance. What can I do? Nothing. You've done enough. Janet. as soon as you get this, okay? Love you. Bye. And now I know what I have to do. Dump Jack and marry me. No. Okay. We don't have to get married. We can just live together. <laughs> Craig, come on. Stop it. I have to talk to Jack. Why, I must be slipping. I pour my heart out and you run right back to the guy who doesn't understand you at all. Everything you said, it really, really touched me. It did. But I just can't think about the what ifs. You and I are business partners. Jack and I are together. And regardless of what you say, he does understand me better than anyone. That's where you're wrong, Carla. Jack and I will work this out. And thanks to you, I am relaxed and clear-headed enough to take the first step. So, what do you want to do now? Go find my mom and tell her the good news. I, I can't believe she hasn't called me back yet. Oh, yeah, you need a ride? Sure. You know, my mom can wait a while before she gets the good news. Is it cool if you don't take me home just yet? You know, it's funny. I should hate the guy because he hurt me more than anybody else in my life ever did. You know, he threw me out of the house like he was throwing out the garbage. So why does it hurt so much to know that he's gone? Jack. 